Hi kids, this is Mr. Isola on location at Bay Park. You may not have realized it before, but mathematics plays a huge part in all sporting activities. On the back of your favorite sports player's card, you'll notice a chart full of numbers. Those numbers are called stats. Stats, which is short for statistics. Statistics are used to keep track mathematically of how well athletes are playing over a period of time. The cards also may include fractions, decimals, and even percentage symbols. In this video clip today, we will be demonstrating how a game of basketball can help us learn about fractions, about decimals, and about percentages. I will be assisted by my brother, Joe. We will be shooting three rounds of free throws. The first round will consist of 10 free throws. After each round that we shoot, we will be marking off the total amount that we take in and the amount that we made on our sports math data sheet. The second round will cons consist of 15 free throws and finally the third will consist of 20 free throws. Very good Joe. So now Joe you're going to take the total you made and you're going to remember to record it on the sports math da data sheet. Okay. All right. So we finished shooting our free throws. After you record the amount you've made and the amount you've taken on your sports math data sheet, we will be going to the classroom, taking those numbers and creating fractions, creating decimals, and creating percentages. So I'll see you in the classroom. All right, boys and girls. So here we are in the classroom. We finished shooting our free throws and we remember to record after each round the shots we've taken and the shots we've made. We're gonna be using three examples from our data sheet and learning how to take our information that we collected after shooting and creating fractions, creating decimals, and finally, creating percentages. After round one, we recorded that Joey has taken 10 shots. And out of a total of 10 shots, Joey made eight free throws. So now the question becomes, from this information, how do we create a fraction? Well, it's very simple. A fraction has two parts, a numerator and a denominator. In this case, our numerator, the number that goes on top, will be our shots made over the denominator, which in this case, total shots taken. Alright, so shots made over shots taken. Well, according to our information, Joey made 8 shots over a total of 10 taken. For a fraction, 8 over 10. And if you'd like, we'll box it in just so you know, 8 over 10. Creating a decimal. In order to create a decimal, you simply take the top number, which again is the num numerator, and divide it by the bottom number, shots taken. So, 8 divided by 10 equals 0.8, or if you like, 0 0.8, and box it in so you know. Another way to find out how, how to create a decimal is simply our number 8, with the decimal in front. Now we know because we've gone over, whenever you divide, you're moving the decimal place over to the left. In this case, we're dividing it by 10. How many zeros are in the number 10? One. So you know to move to the move the decimal to the left one spot. And a zero in front. So there you have two ways on how to find a decimal. Percentages work the other way around you're going to be multiplying, which means we're moving the decimal to the right 
all depending on how many zeros we're moving it over. In our case, we're working out of 100. There are two zeros in 100, so we'll be moving to the right two places. So, our original decimal, 0 0.8. Now, like we said, we're going to multiply by 100. How many zeros are in 100? 1, 2. Again, we're multiplying, we're moving to the right. So, 0 0.8, moving it over to the right, two spots. 1, 2, there goes the decimal. 0 0.8 becomes whole number 8. There's one thing I left out, and we need to remember, a percent sign. Another box in your answer. In round three, we shot a total of 20 free throws. Then he made a total of 17 shots made over shots taken. Shots made, 17 over shots taken, 20. Box your answers in. Did you not see this? We used our calculator for round two. Real quick, I want to show you long division for round three. Shots taken, 20, divided by shots made, 17. Now, 20 does not go into 17, so we're going to put a decimal. Bring the decimal up. Zeros take the place. There. The 17 now becomes 170. How many times does 20 go into 170? Eight times. Eight times 20, 160. Remember to subtract 170 minus 160, 10. Bring down to zero. Now we have simply, how many times does 20 go into 100? Five times. So our decimal has become 0.85. Taking 0.85 and finding out our percentage, again, our decimal 0.85 Remember, the percentages we are multiplying by 100. All right, class. So, as you can see, three examples from our free throw shooting activity. We created our fractions, we created our decimals, and we created percents. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I hope you and your friends had fun playing the game, and we will see you next time.